I'm back. So today, um, I kind of wanted to give a little update um, before I just start kind of posting new videos because I kind of thought it'd be weird that I went MIA and ghosted everyone for a few months, um, like five or six months, and then would come back to post a video like nothing happened. So um, lots of things have happened. So um, I've got a drink and um, my dog's being obnoxious downstairs. So let's get into it. Um, I should first off by start saying like... Um, Happy Thanksgiving, Merry Christmas, um, Happy New Year's, Happy Valentine's Day, and depending on when this video goes out, uh, Happy St. Patrick's Day, because <laughs> um, that's in like um, next week. So uh, let's start off by um, October. I unfortunately, uh, well, let's start off in September. Uh, September, I had my uh, thyroid removed. Um, so if you haven't been following my journey, which I think I only posted like one journey video on that um i have been struggling with um hashimoto's and trying to get my thyroid in check um so after a few months of taking medication and seeing if that would work um it didn't really work um it didn't really help my levels at all so they were too high they were trying to get them lower it didn't really work um and i was still kind of having issues um with my uh thyroid and being like kind of enlarged and causing me have to have issues um breathing and swallowing and just just being a regular old like nuisance because I could you know it was kind of getting making my neck really large it was kind of starting I guess they called it a goiter um kind of just causing it to like get big and what have you um and so my endocrinologist um had said that um you know if I was willing um and they were able um to have it removed my problem solved right um, no. So, uh, if you don't know anything about Hashimoto's or anything about a thyroid, you can't necessarily function without a thyroid or some sort of, like, if you have your thyroid removed, some sort of a medication. So, it's not like you just take it out and your life is all better. Um, so once we had it removed, I immediately went on, um, thyroid medication. Uh, so, uh, we've been slowly, so that adventure, um, we've been slowly kind of, uh, whittling away to find, like, the perfect, um, prescription, uh, strength from my body. Um, and so we're still in that process, um, I started off at 175 milligrams um, of levothyroxin, and now I'm at 100. Um, and I, it wouldn't surprise me. I have my next checkup um, or my next endocrinologist appointment, I think, in June. Um, and so it wouldn't surprise me if we go a little lower. Um, I'm just not seeing – it's nearly not increasing, you know, because it was high. And then once it, you know, once it was removed immediately, I had none. I had no thyroid levels. So we're trying to get it up. Um, and so – it was at like 0 0.1, 0 0.01 or something like that. Um, and what the doctor had said is he wants to get to like two. So we, um, I haven't really been seeing it increase greatly. So I wouldn't be surprised if my next appointment, they would lower my dosage again. So that was September. Um, and then in October, unfortunately, I had to say goodbye to my grandmother. Uh, she passed away um, with a long bout of Parkinson's. So there was that. Um, and then in... Um, November, my grandfather passed away as well. So, uh, although that was really sad, um, you know, she's not suffering anymore. They're together together and she's not suffering. So, and then Christmas and Thanksgiving. Um, so we're Thanksgiving and Christmas that flew by. Everything went as semi as planned. Um, it was a very small one this year. Um, my in-laws, um, had actually gotten the vid and, um, they couldn't join us this year um, and so it was actually kind of nice that we didn't have to run around to 17 different places um, and we just went to my sister-in-law's and my parents um, and everyone came to my parents so we just went to really two places so it was really kind of nice um, New Year's well happy New Year that kind of brings me to um, I guess New Year's resolutions I mean doesn't everybody do those so this year, obviously, like every year, I, I, I want to lose weight. Like, that's just, like, always on there. Um, and I'm hoping that with my thyroid um, issues slowly ma getting managed, that um, I'll be able to do that. So I have about, like, a 45 to 50 pound weight loss goal um, to hopefully, um, hopefully I can do that. I also, um, 
there's a few things on my list um, which probably go along with weight loss. Um, one is to get the, my rings off my fingers. So with the weight gain and the thyroid issue, um, obviously when you gain weight, your fingers can gain weight, like everything, your whole body, feet included, gain weight. Um, and so my hands have gained weight. And, um, and thyroid issues also cause you to swell. Um, so I am unable to get my rings off currently at the moment. So when I underwent surgery, they had to just tape them with the understanding that if anything happened um, during the procedure or if I, if I had to be rushed somewhere um, that would require me to take them off any normal given time, that they would actually cut them off. Thankfully, that didn't happen. But I kind of was like, you know, I could get my rings off before and now we can't. So that's kind of on the list. Um... I don't know if, if I really want to call them resolutions, um, but like a goals for the year. So weight loss, I'm um, getting my rings off and I think, um, <laughs> silly little goal, but eat more protein. Um, I feel like I haven't, excuse me, haven't been, um, getting as much protein as I guess I probably should or could. Um, but yeah, those are just minor things, nothing too big, um, I guess in my mind. Um, and hopefully, um, Hopefully I can achieve them. Um, sometimes it's really hard uh, to think about weight loss when I've been, you know, not doing that. And in fact, I have gained some weight, obviously, since um, this past few months, um, which really stinks. Oh, I forgot to mention in December. Um, sorry, squirrel. I should really write, really write this stuff down and so I can kind of go through it. But uh, December, we actually went to Nashville, um, my husband and I, um, with a, another couple. Um, it was his first time flying and um, it was our first time really ever traveling together um, for like a vacation. So we didn't have the kids. My, my family watched the ki my, my kids and um, it was really nice. So I think we were just gone for a weekend. Uh, we flew in on Friday. We left on Monday and then um, got back in because there was a whole issue with not having a pilot to fly the plane. <sighs> kind of weird, I know. Um, that's kind of important. So uh, once that was figured out, we got home a lot later than we thought. We kind of anticipated being home around 9 or 10 o'clock at night. Um, we didn't get home till like 1 or 2 in the morning. Um, thankfully, it was on the way back because had that like started our vacation, um, I think that would have been a little bummer and kind of like set the tone. So it was kind of nice. Um, that was in December and that was early December. Um, and so, yeah, it was... It was really nice. Um, different world down there for sure. I just can't um, believe it's like such a party town. Like there's music in every bar, live music in every bar, and they're all great. They're all great. So we went uh, mainly just to um, bars, um, Kid Rock's Honky Tonk, and then Honky Tonk Central. So um, if anybody lives in Nashville or if anyone's planning on going to Nashville, I would recommend going to those two. Those are great. It's live music all the time, every day. I mean, any, any bar in Nashville would be, but those are just, they're the great atmosphere, great people. Um, it was just really nice. Um, and then, yeah, I think that's probably, um, about it. So, and then I guess, oh, well, I guess my last goal would be to get to a hundred subs, um, on YouTube. Um, and so I kind of wanted to get on here before I started posting, trying to post regularly. It's just so hard. I don't know what the, the roadblock is or the mental block is about me doing videos um it's like I don't know how to start them or I don't know what I'm doing so I just won't do it because I will fail <laughs> I don't know if that's the perfection in me perfectionist in me um so I there are times that I'm like god this would be great like I have several like Emma's room is a mess um Evan's room is a mess the dog's room is a mess like I have I have videos to do I just like god how am I gonna do this I'm gonna set the camera up I'm gonna like, like I don't know what it is, what mental block I've got, but I gotta get over it if I want to meet that goal of getting 100 subs and I'm um, kind of <laughs> growing this channel. So, um, oh, which brings me, you know, if you, you know, hey, like, comment, subscribe, help me reach my 100 sub goal, um, you know, shameless plug. But yeah, so I think that's kind of um, up, kind of um, caught up now. So, um, yeah, I'll catch you guys on the next one. Hopefully it'll be a cleaning video, question mark. Um, check you later.